I wrote an article some 25 years ago or so, which was called the Soviet Union as a communal apartment, in which communal apartment was a metaphor for uh, the shape of the Soviet state. Um, every Union Republic had a room of its own. And the Russians lived in the hall and in the kitchen and made most of, most of the decisions, or at least they thought they did. So communal apartment was a metaphor. And, I, and so I decided that it might be interesting to write the history of an actual communal apartment, such as the one in which I grew up, where my you know, grandparents lived. And most everyone I knew growing up in the 60s lived in communal apartments. And I thought it would be a great way to write a history of the Soviet Union, write a history of, this, of several families brought together more or less by accident under the same roof within the same apartment. Families coming and going, families from various, various quarters. Uh, but then I realized that I probably wouldn't be able to find enough people who lived in the same communal apartment, moving in, moving out, from the, let's say, about the, 19, you know, the mid-1920s into the 19, late 60s, early 70s, when so particularly so many Muscovites moved into their own apartments. And so then I thought, well, let me find a building. And so I kept moving from one building to the next until I ended up in the largest residential building in the Soviet Union, which is the House on the Embankment, so-called, uh, or the House of Government. But that, of course, meant that the design had changed dramatically because it was now a book not about strangers thrown together, but a book about uh, comrades in arms, about fellow revolutionaries, about people with a common past, um, people who were building a common future for themselves and for the world at large. And so that's what it ended up being, that's what it is. So it's a history of the House of Government, or House on the Embankment. You know the building, right? Across the river from the Cathedral of Christ the Savior. Or rather, a history of the Russian Revolution, of the original revolution, it's through the history of um, the families of those who lived in the House of Government. Um, but when I started writing, I realized that the story be actually began much earlier, and that I um, needed to start at the turn of the 20th century, when future party and government officials um, joined the party and converted to socialism. And so that's what the book is about. It's a story of those people who were among the first ones to join the Bolshevik party, who went through the revolution civil war together, and then moved into this remarkable building uh, in which they lived as uh, husbands and fathers and brothers and neighbors, and where they met their end. Because so many of them uh, were evicted from that house in 1937-38. And then many of them uh, imprisoned, quite a few of them uh, executed. So that's, that's the story, basically.